let's take a look at nepotism and word of mouth from an employment law perspective. Nepotism refers to favoritism towards family members and other relatives. Civil service laws typically prohibit nepotism in hiring practices of government agencies because it's contrary to the principle that jobs should be awarded on the basis of merit. Large private sector companies often have policies discouraging nepotism. However, nepotism is probably common among smaller private employers and in certain occupations. Because relatives are most often of the same race or national origin, nepotism results in hiring people who are similar in certain protected class characteristics to the people who already work in an organization. In one relevant case, a policy of nepotism in hiring school teachers resulted in the virtual exclusion of African Americans as job candidates. Teaching positions were posted in each school but not advertised to the public. Relatives of school employees were more likely to learn about the availability of jobs and were preferred in the selection process. Word of mouth recruiting is often aligned with nepotism and has similar potential to result in discrimination. In word of mouth, employers depend on current employees to spread the word about jobs to their friends, family members, and other associates. From an employer's perspective, word of mouth is essentially costless, and networks of contacts are frequently the key to success in the labor market. It can also be effective because current employees are able to provide realistic job previews to prospective employees, and they're unlikely to approach persons whom they think are unsuitable, lest the employer blame them for bad referrals. As with nepotism, the threat to equal employment opportunity posed by word-of-mouth recruiting stems from the fact that people tend to associate with others who are like them, especially in terms of race. If an employer's workforce is racially diverse, current employees referring persons of their own race is not a problem because persons of all races will still be referred. But if the employer's current workforce is racially homogeneous, heavy reliance on word-of-mouth recruiting will reinforce a racially skewed workforce.